Hello everybody and welcome back to Polaris Sector. In the last uh, episode we held off a Logan assault and um, the question for this episode will be whether we can turn that defense into a counter-attack. So let's take a look. We're um, building another one of the uh, the Valiant sort of uh, hybrid carrier um, frigates and uh, that's just been completed so let's get some more more fighters and bombers produced so 20 typhoons and 20 of these spitfires so we'll then have three valiants here and with another with another two I believe it was back at uh, our original home world. So let's merge those fleets there and carry on. More sabotage of our planets. Um, yeah, it must be either the koalas or the uh, the bird people. We need to get some form of um, spy uh, finding equipment into into orbit um, so let's um, let's group these together and let's see whether we can reach the front lines um, not directly but maybe if we refuel here we will be able to uh, anything being built here? Oh, so we're still building more, more fighters actually. So okay, let's let's cancel that. Oh, we've uh, we've already started to make the journey. My f my mistake. Um, but we can we can bring them back easily enough. That bulk transporter is uh, moving some defence stations into place. The defense stations in our last uh, battle uh, held up very well against the enemy fighter onslaught. Um, the laser batteries doing uh, doing good work and allowing our uh, our fighters to operate under under their guns um, under their sights and it um, yeah they, they did very good work indeed. Um, so production seems to have come to a grinding halt actually and uh, so what I'm gonna do I'm actually gonna cancel all production here I know I've just brought my ships back but it may take us longer to to build the fighters uh, there than uh, than it will to to get the fleet over and ultimately I want production concentrated on the on the front line right now uh, so the enemy fleet retreated. So who are these? Are these Logan? Yeah, these are Logan scout ships that are trying to come back through our territory, and our um, our border defence stations are um, keeping them at bay. So a gravity resonance tank, uh, basically better better fuel capacity, which is uh, which is always always good in this game, um, which it can turn into sometimes a little bit of a logistical little bit of a logistical nightmare. There's a lot of enemy... well, enemy, I call them enemy, currently we're neutral with them, but potential enemy fleets on our borders. Um, yeah, we really do need more plutonium. We've got a positive balance, but um, nothing like uh, nothing like uh, what we need to reduce that deficit quickly. But we have, we have recently gone through a spate of um, colonizing new worlds and um, hopefully they will um, eventually mine enough of the plutonium to address our deficit. Um, so new planetary construction sorry new pa planetary policy assimilation okay so it allows us to assimilate people we conquer more easily and uh, we're also able to build a military base now that is tempting actually um, not so much for 
this frozen world as we won't have much room but for this earth like um let's have a look yeah let's um let's build a military base just to give extra protection actually let's have a look at this world is it can we build a, a military base yes we can um so it um basically helps with uh, protecting the planet against against attack and um you'd have to say that these two um these two worlds are right on the front line so how is production coming slowly slowly uh yeah the um this this world is brilliant in terms of its contr production capacity at uh, six orbital space stations but um yeah it's that uh, plutonium deficit which is um, really stopping us though um we are now we have just gone into a, a surplus um and um all of those fighters and bombers have been completed uh let's um let's go with another load though so we've got 25 25 each and um if i'm building too many i don't really care because i will put the surplus into transports and um get them sent to the front line as well um and once we've got our um once we've got our uh, main attack fleet fully equipped with uh, fighters and bombers, I'll then think about um, producing more troop transports and um, think about recruiting uh, more marines, more tanks, more uh, more aircraft. But until we uh, until we can really show that. Um, we're able to take the offensive it's a little bit uh, it's a little bit pointless they continue to sabotage this planet which is very annoying um but it will it will take away production resources from this front line if i um really want to address the enemy spy ships uh, we may we may have to anyway um depending on the damage they start doing to us but um yeah the Plutonium deficit is still slowing us down. Let's uh, speed things up a bit. What kind of numbers are we looking at? So, four corvettes, um, six fighters, another freighter type unit, quite a few battle stations. I don't know what's on these stations. They will be, um, they'll potentially be the thing that. Um, Holds our advance. I'm pretty, pretty comfortable with um, being able to take on their corvettes um, with our attack fleet. But um, how we get on against their space station is um, oh, these little buggers. They want something. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna reject that demand. Though it may lead us into. Um, another war i just i just need i need the minerals oh we're going to regret this does that mean we're we're at war not yet not yet but um this is uh, i think this shows their relationship with us uh ooh, new earth gosh right in the right in the middle of our territory has been sabotaged that is very annoying so we may have to um we may have to invest in um, dealing with that. Let's just have a quick look. Uh, let's say new new prototype. Yeah, okay, Argentina. What um, do we have? Any special? Any special equipment? Um, so the infrared scanner allows us to detect small ships. Um, we've got a scouting module. Um, that may be what we need um yeah possibly possibly is that what we use to detect uh well it gives passive spying so 
Uh, I don't really see that as being necessarily what we need. Hmm. Let's exit that and then delete delete that design as it's uh, an empty shell. So I know, I'm pretty sure these this covert freighter can detect other can detect enemy ships. So maybe let's um, let's build two of them. See whether we can stop the instances of uh, at least stop their their ships from coming into our space at will. And um, now then, let's merge these fleets together. Do we? Well, hang on. I was going to say, do we have the range to get there? But first of all, let's make sure our hangars are full. So that one's full, 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 and with some fighters left over. Okay. And uh, no, we're struggling. Why is it saying no route explored? The route absolutely is explored. Hmm. Do we have any other fuel? Transports. Okay, let's um let's head out anyway. And then um no, let's um I was gonna think about uh, building some troop transports, but actually let's uh, let the stockpile recover. We do have some marines loaded onto a transport, so we'll move We'll move that to the front line anyway. We may need to do some logistic shuffling with our um, our fuel haulers, which uh, we do have some fuel haulers now back at um, back at our home world, and um, I'm wondering whether what we do is we split one off, and we use the other to move these older carriers up to the front line, just. Um, Maybe as something of a deterrent. I don't have much confidence in their ability to actually hold up against a, a concerted attack. Certainly not from more uh, more modern enemy ships, and uh, it is a bit worrying. They have um, they do look like they've got plenty of ships on our our borders. I would like to bring this. Uh, dispute with the Logans to an end as swiftly as possible. Right, so there's one covert freighter. Let's let's move this one over there. I want to know who's actually um who's committing these uh these sabotage operations against us because it might at least inform us as to who's likely to to come for us next. So better better engine technology, that's good. And our fleet is still making progress towards its uh, destination. Not enough fuel, but can the... Ah, uh, so the fuel hauler has run out of fuel. Hmm. Now, if I split out the fuel hauler, I would have thought the actual warships, yeah, they've got enough to... Um, make the jump and then there's a battle all the way over here and um, the enemy fleet was destroyed that's presumably the scout that was uh, trying to get back through our space in order to um, refuel okay so this transport has arrived let's keep uh, moving around and uh, these this fleet is now refueled. Okay, let's let's see whether we can um, go on the offensive. The second uh, covert freighter constructed. Let's move this one out. Wonder whether it will be able to take a little snapshot as it goes by about the enemy fleet. Keep calling them the enemy fleet. <laughs> it's uh, <laughs> it's because the conflict's inevitable. In in my mind. Uh, 
Yeah, let's... Uh, okay, so we've got one covert right there. Um, no, it's probably because it's moved on. So we've got our, our the battle. So 217 enemy fighters against 109 of ours. Um, oh, the covert freight has been pulled in. That's a little bit annoying. Okay, well, let's um, let's take a look. So yeah, they've got these stations, and um, then the corvettes stations. 3,000 um, hit points on the hull. What's the valiant got? Uh, a little bit more actually. So we may be okay. Let's move the the covert freighter off in that direction. Let's cluster up the valiants. Release all the fighters because the the enemy have 200 of their them so what I'm gonna do is first bring the valiants together and then we'll move in, uh, in kind of a clustered formation towards the enemy hopefully their corvettes will have moved out um, before them so the, the capital ships move very very slowly um, but I'm not going to speed uh, time up for now because the um, the fighters do not move slowly and uh, I need to select small ships so that I'm just selecting them let's continue to, to group our fighters together these um, these valiant sort of uh, carriers um, have got pretty good anti-fighter um, they've got four paired lasers, ten normal lasers and I think maybe even the ion guns can at least launch shells uh, against incoming craft. So they're not entirely defenseless, but um, any one of them is not going to be able to take on the 200 odd enemy fighters. So we need to keep our fighters at hand to, to rush to the rescue. Um, what we'll do is we'll split out our um, torpedo fighters just because I think they may be uh, instrumental in bringing down enemy uh, space stations right so there's more they're um, they're coming in dribs and drabs against our fighters, but our fighters themselves are still a bit strung out, which I don't really like. Now, from memory, the Valiants do have um, repair facilities in their hangars. Um, it was one, one advancement I think we did um, go with, so um, I might be able to repair some fighters if they, if they survive. But um, getting um, getting overwhelmed a bit. Yeah, overwhelmed by numbers at the moment, which is disappointing. Um, let's, uh, Okay, well we've seen some of them off. Let's order them back to the hangars. There is... Ah, I've missed the fact that this Valiant was under attack. Um, yeah, I better bring these. Oh gosh, they're already they're tied up with them. Oh god. They really do have loads. We may lose a Valiant here. Yeah. And set one Valiant against a large number of enemy fighters just um, is just going to struggle. That's, uh, yeah, just overwhelming numbers. Damn. Oh, that's a painful loss. Um, yeah, late, later on we'll have the technology to jump in in formation and so... Um, 
think, uh, minimise those kind of losses. But um, at this stage in the game, we we are at the mercy really of where we um, of where we jump in. Uh, let's turn the valiant to keep. Uh, Keep these fighters in its uh, in its main firing arc. Typhoons may be able to do some um, some work at least, perhaps <laughs> at least perhaps uh, act as shields to protect this valiant. And uh, yeah, that um, that worked better, or at least seemed to. Have we seen them all off? Okay, let's uh, let's send everybody back to the hangars to um, to refit, and then I'm going to select the capital ships, bring them forward, and let's uh, let's speed up time a bit. Say a bit, let's speed up time a lot, because these guys are slow. Okay, let's um, let's release all the fighters. And um, what are these armed with? These are heavy iron guns and fireball emitters. I think we enjoyed quite a lot of success against them in uh, previous battles. So let's collect our bombers together. Yeah, all of you, all of you. Why are why are you not being selected? Oh, because got capitals right. All of you up here. Let's get everybody clustered together. I wonder whether uh, they'll reach the Valiants before uh, I can get my fighters organised. I wouldn't think so. Um, so I'm hoping we take out these uh, these various corvettes. So their corvettes, they seem to have um, different designs and um, they are travelling at different speeds which means their formation has broken up so that could be particularly helpful for us okay let's uh, let's try should we put them in a in the hammer formation and see whether we can take out this corvette before it even reaches our uh, our capital ships. It does feel good to be on the offensive. Um, whether our offensive will be successful or not is still in question, but it does feel good to be dishing out some pain. Finally, <laughs> after all of the uh, all of the setbacks we've had. That was the Spitfires then providing escort to the Typhoons, which uh, seemed to work very well. And will we bring down this? Yeah, another one down. Let's um, finish off this first wave. Brilliant. And then let's get back to the hangars for our refitting and resupplying, and I'll speed speed things up a bit. This. Um, this corvette is just armed with plasma missiles, so it will not be effective at all against um, our Valiant. So I'm thinking that actually the um, the approach here should be to advance our capital ships. These typhoons, obviously, uh, were housed in our um, in the Valiant we lost, which is which is very disappointing. Also, these corvettes are armed with lasers and plasma missiles, so they may not be the um, they may not be best suited to taking on these valiants. Um, no, then we do need to try and uh, get them within our firing arcs. So this valiant dishing up the pain. Oh yeah, lovely, 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 lovely. So let's keep uh, let's keep going on. Let's speed up time because uh, yeah, these capital ships are slow. Keep the typhoons moving up. And 
and uh, let's have a think about where we want to uh, where we want to be. Um, so we'll send one this side, uh, one possibly through the middle, so that it can use both broadsides. Another one through the middle, and this one on the on the flanks here. And obviously, a bit of bunching has caused uh, these to to mess about a bit, which is a little unfortunate. We're going to need to turn here. Let's have a look at uh, yeah. How are we doing? Well, we've certainly got the range on them, but I think it's because they're. Um, they're armed with these missiles and plasma. Okay, so he's opened up with his laser batteries, but far too little, far too late. Yeah, nice, nice. So let's uh, let's move into range now. The question is, do we launch our um, our fighters and bombers alone, or do we go for a sort of more um, combined arm strike? So they've got um, paired lasers and heavy lasers. Um, so they'll be quite good against my um, bombers and then these ion guns, which are not going to be that good actually. I think maybe, maybe we see whether we can um, whether we can take one down simply with a small strike craft force, because they are obviously much faster than the Valiant. So if it does succeed. That'll be quite the win. How many missiles have we got? We've got 167 of those armor-piercing torpedoes. Um, so I'm feeling quite um, feeling quite good, certainly, about the amount of ammunition we've got. Um, it'll be a little bit of a question as to what kind of overlapping fire these have. Can they can they protect each other? Um, in which case, uh, we may uh, we may have to pull back. But look, let's um, let's experiment a little bit. In the in the meantime, our our capital ships will slowly get closer. In any event, I, I'm pretty confident, even it wasn't even it wasn't for this um, chance of success bar, that we're um, we should be able to take down these stations with our capital ships. In any event, so let's mass and yeah, we'll go we'll go in the hammer formation. It's it served as well. I would think that all of the the enemies. Um, Weapons are mounted in turrets on the top of the station, so probably no point in trying to find a uh, an angle outside of their firing arcs, because the arc is probably uh, probably isn't an arc. They've probably got 360 fire. Okay, so that's quite quite a good range. This station may be able to support, but let's. Um, oh, that is a lot of torpedoes. They do have lasers. Oh, that's one down. Let's. Um, Let's see whether we can press the attack. Ultimately, these um, these fighters are a lot cheaper than the Valiant, so um, if we can do the job without risking a Valiant, then brilliant. Um, yeah, we're, we're we're bringing her down. So we're probably probably low on missiles now. Well done, guys. Well done. I'm a little bit gutted we lost that Valiant, but it was always always a risk that they might concentrate their forces um destroyed 38 small enemy ships but um the cost of one valiant is probably more than those 38 so we've managed to gain control over uh, over an enemy world um which has some ground forces not not vast amounts um the problem we have is that our own ground forces may may not have the fuel we we are possibly about to be um a victim of the logistics issues um but we do have another fuel fre freighter coming along the way so let's uh, let's see how we go okay this is our old so we don't need the fuel hauler there anymore because i'm just going to leave those carriers uh, so let's bring this one over as well just so that we've got that uh, that operational support and uh, let's see what this uh, scout finds. Okay, so that bulk transporter there. Do we want to build anything here? Not for the moment, actually, because um, we need all of our uh, our resources for this front. 
how is construction going there? So yeah, that military base is being built. Um, I won't build any fighters and bombers for the moment, even though we probably will need them. Uh, so what have we got here? We've got a freighter, two battle satellites, some fighters. So yeah, we may have um, may have really blunted the enemy's ability to um, to attack us. Um, let's have a look at the economics. Uh, graphs graphs is what i want uh so control stars gosh they've pulled away from us they're actually uh, a larger empire than us and um what about fleets which are actually ships um okay well they're still they're still uh, <laughs> still ahead of us so look uh, it's got to half an hour that's where i'll leave it guys and i will um i'll see you next time thanks very much